Okay, everybody, let's look at your lab manual for lab four. Uh, go ahead and flip to page 29 for me. That's your data sheet. You're not going to need to send this in to me because I actually scanned this information into you guys. So as you watch this, you're seeing the data that you need to put in your lab manual. And I want to explain it to you so you understand what's going on. So uh, again, Sam was our subject. After watching that video, you know that. Sam's normal blood pressure was 106 over 60. Isometric contraction. Uh, that blood pressure jumped to 136 over 80. And the reason for that is by contracting his bicep, he actually mechanically occluded or closed down those vessels, which led to an increase in blood pressure because the body was trying to force blood through smaller vessels. Okay, So that's what happened there. That's why blood pressure increased. On the next one, C, gravity effects on blood pressure. Uh, above the heart, when Sam's head, hand was, uh, or arm was above his head, Basically, gravity slowed down flow to his arm. Okay, so there was less blood flow to his arm. When there's less blood flow, there's less pressure. So that pressure was lower than his normal blood pressure. The opposite happens below the heart. Below the heart, um, gravity is actually working to pull blood towards that limb. So you have more blood flow. With more blood flow comes a higher blood pressure. So that's what's going on. That's why we actually got a higher blood pressure below the heart than above the heart. All right, in D, supine to standing. Supine, like you saw in the video, is lying face up. Um, Sam's blood pressure there was 112 over 58. If you look back at his normal blood pressure, those are almost exactly the same. Uh, and the reason for that is the, where you take blood pressure has an effect on what the blood pressure reads. So when the arm is right next to the heart or at heart level, just like it was when he was sitting and we took his normal blood pressure or when he was lying supine, his arm in relation to his heart was similar in a similar place on the same level. That's where you're going to get a really similar blood pressure in those two situations. Now, if you immediately have the subject stand up like we did, Sam immediately stood up from lying. We took his standing blood pressure. That was also a little bit low because of gravity's um, gravity tending to pull blood towards the legs after you immediately stand up. There wasn't enough time for that to kind of regulate itself and get back to a normal blood pressure. So that's why you see a lower blood pressure uh, with standing blood pressure. Okay, if you keep moving forward, look at page 30. Uh, what you see there is what we found as far as blood pressure and heart rate during Sam's three minute of exercise on the bike. And so what you see is, no surprise, heart rate and blood pressure both increase. Um, and that's because there's working skeletal muscle, needs to generate more energy, which requires more blood flow, and so that happens. Um, if you look at minute two uh, under the blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure there is a little bit high at 90. Um, diastolic blood pressure tends to stay uh, real close to its resting rates, even during exercise. So diastolic blood pressure, again, is during heart relaxation. Um, systolic, or during heart contraction, will go up more uh, during exercise as compared to diastolic. So that uh, looks like healthy reaction to exercise for Sam. And we will talk to you guys soon.